Well, let's make this video all about being smooth. We've got a tool known as Fillet that will help us smooth sharp edges in our model. And we'll also use another tool that's very similar called Chamfer. Let's get started. Here in the modeling environment, I have a six by six by six cube. All I've done was sketch out a square and then extrude it. But let's say I have a design goal of having no sharp edges. I want everything to be smooth on my cube. That can be a challenge because even though I can round out the corners here with like a, an arc in my sketch, this will still have a sharp transition. Let me demonstrate that. So I was able to get round corners here, but because of the way extrude works, how do I get round corners on these edges? Maybe I can do a sweep, but you know, that's a lot of work. And maybe in some cases it wouldn't work quite right. So what I'll do is instead, instead I'll use this super handy tool called Fillet. Some people pronounce it filet, but it's meant to be said fillet as filet just makes me hungry for fish. So I'll select fillet and it asks me what radius do I want? I like the default radius of half an inch. When I click on an edge, it will smooth the edge. Likewise, if I click on a face, it will smooth every edge connected to that face. And so if I want to make all of the edges on my cube smooth, the fillet tool makes quick work of it. And there, when I click apply, I have all the edges smoothed. One interesting and fun piece of trivia that you can have is the question of can you make a sphere in a libre without revolving and the answer is yes if i simply move my fillet radius to three inches on a six by six by six cube that will make a sphere because the cube is filleted down into a sphere so there's a fun piece of a libre tri trivia for you and this should be pretty handy in being able to smooth whatever rough edges that you would like without having to worry about it on the level of sketches. This again is the fillet tool. Uh, we have one other one, right? So I can go to my tree and delete my fillet. I also have this option to chamfer. This is commonly pronounced chamfer as well. Uh, both work. I say chamfer, but I think most people say chamfer. I can click on an edge and it will create not a smooth rounded surface, but rather an angled relationship. When we choose equal distance, then the chamfer defaults to a 45 degree angle. However, I can choose angle distance and I can say, okay, I want a distance of 0.25 here, but at an angle of say 30 degrees, right? And I can change these relationships. I can increase my distance to 0.5 and you can see it updates as expected. We can say 75 degrees, right? And we can have a totally different kind of chamfer. So that is how we deal with angle distance. And as always, we can choose distance, distance two. So I can say one by 0.5, right? And we go up one inch and over 0.5 in inches. I can say one by one to go back to a 45, 0.25 to one, and we can get all kinds of different chamfer shapes. So that is fillet and chamfer, ways to directly edit the model without the need of sketching. And that's how we use the fillet and chamfer tools. Let's put them to good use in the next model. See you then.